So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to start a call with Brian. Remember, if I hover over his picture, I can do it here and click here, but I can actually do it from right inside here. I'm going to go call. But before I start the call, a good thing to do is, it's a, is to send someone an instant message. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to click on the I am, and I'm going to say to Brian, And again, I'm checking to make sure that he is available here with the green over on the side. And I wouldn't call somebody who um, wasn't available. In fact, I'll show you real quick some things here. This person is away for 50 minutes. These people are offline. This person is um, offline. This person is available. It's also another indicator that I can't show you right now, but it's um, a red indicator here on the side. It just says that somebody's uh, in a meeting or something. Actually, we'll see that happen in just a second. So let's go back here. Instant messaging Brian say you got time for a call. And so we'll wait for his response. So I'm just going to keep that in front of here, sorry. Hmm. So Brian responds back with sure. So I'm going to go ahead and go click right up here where it says call, and I'm going to make it a call now to Brian. So we can hear my little ringtone that I set up before. You heard that earlier. Hi there. Hi, Brian. How are you? Great. Good. This is neat. Yeah, I'm just uh, here creating a little video tutorial for some people and wanted to know if you could help me out a little bit. Oh, I'd love to. Okay. Well, we're, we're currently inside a call here, so we know I instant message you first and then I... Uh, click the call button and now we're talking. Next thing I want to show people is how we can add a little video to it. So if you have a webcam hooked up, you have a webcam, don't you, Brian? I do. All right. So I'm going to click on the word video up on top and my webcam is going to start opening here. And Brian will see it on the other end. Oh, there it is. Oh, I see you. Yeah. So if you look at up in the corner, there's probably a, a little uh, left hand corner. If you hover over the screen, it'll probably say "Start my video." Does it say oh, that? I see that. Yeah. I'm clicking that now. Yeah. On my side, it says "Pause my video," so I would start. You would click "Start my video." So there you are. There we are. Hi. Yeah. So I'm going to show you just a couple things that we can do inside a link. Um, I already showed the people how to kind of do the contact list and how to make a call. So I'm going to start by showing a little more of the advanced stuff. So. If you look right here, we can see that there's a button that's called Share. And so I can share a few things with Brian. I can share with Brian uh, my desktop. I can share a program with Brian, a PowerPoint presentation, a whiteboard, and a poll. So I'm going to start by clicking on Share My Desktop. And so Brian on his side is probably going to be seeing Oh, I see a yellow bar there. appeared with two buttons. Yeah, One okay. says accept sharing okay. request and the other says decline. So I'm going to click accept sharing okay. request. All right. And then you can see along the top of my screen, um, it says I'm currently sharing. I went ahead and put this in front of the link window so, so we could see what I was actually sharing my desktop here. And so Brian... I see um, your screen. Yeah. So I'm um, currently showing off my ANR Technology Services website, our uh, link page. So we have one here that has some interesting um, things about link, so you can learn some more there. So um, that's one of the things we can do is we can share our desktop with somebody. Maybe you wanted to show them a, a quick internet site or something um, on your computer, something how to do something. To stop sharing, I can simply click this button right up here that says stop sharing back over here to the link window and Brian probably <laughs> just doesn't see anything anymore right <laughs> your window went away yeah yes. okay so the next thing I'm going to show is how to share a program so I'm going to click on this share program and currently I just have two things open I have this Camtasia studio 
and I have um, my technology, uh, my internet um, open again. Actually, you know what I'm going to do, just so this is a better demonstration. I'm going to close that, and I'm going to open up a uh, Word document. And I'm just going to make it kind of blank here. Oops, I spelled that wrong. And now I'm going to go back to link. Here I'm going to say share a program, and now we should see that Word document's open. Oh, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and say click on that. I'm going to say share, and again Brian should be seeing this program now that's inside of this yellow box. There it is, and he's just now seeing just the program. So you can see how the yellow box is here before when the desktop is being shared. It was a little bigger. One of the things I can do here inside of programs is I can give Brian control. So I click up here on where it says give control and I pick Brian's name. And this window pops up as you say yes or okay. And now Brian has control. I'm not, he is now in control of this document. So he's highlighting that and he is changing that. And he's changing, oh look, he's getting out some word art. So he now has control of it. I don't really have control, I don't think. Oh, I guess I do have control at the same time. That's interesting. So they both can kind of be working on this document. So if I want to take back control, I can click up here where it says give control and simply click on take back control. So now I have control and Brian doesn't anymore. But he's seeing what's going on on my screen. So again, I can click stop sharing to have that go away. And I'm going to pop that link in front of us again and there we go. So the next thing we can do is we can share a PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and click on share PowerPoint presentation. This time it's going to look a little bit different. I have to actually go in and find a PowerPoint to share with Brian. Uh, right by where I wanted to go. And I'm going to click open. So this time it kind of opens right inside of our link re our link call window. And so Brian's seeing a similar kind of thing on his side. Mine says loading. He's probably seeing it'll be popping up in a second on his side. And now this is just a PowerPoint that I could share with a group of people. So for this uh, sharing of a PowerPoint, you'd probably want to we use this when maybe you're in a group meeting or you have three or four people and you just wanted to share a presentation with them. There's no... Uh, I can't give give uh, control of, of this to Brian, so currently right now I'm just moving through these slides and he's seeing me move through the slides on his end. And there's some annotation things down here if I wanted to highlight something. I could grab this marker and I could say, oh, look at this, and I could change the color and there's some little drawing tools. I want to highlight that somehow and move on to the next slide. So. That's kind of what we can do with sharing just a PowerPoint. So I'm going to click up here and stop sharing, and the PowerPoint's going to go away. And we'll just see a window that says no one is sharing presenter. And if I wanted to hide this, I could. If I say hide stage, you can see how it just kind of goes away.